The world is a darker day today since the sparkling light of Grace Muriel Mueller was extinguished yesterday by a drunk driver. Grace was born January 26th, 1996, the third and youngest child of Mary Beth and Ray Mueller. Instead, we must live with the tragic consequences of someone's hateful decision to drink and then to drive. We have lost a magnificent young woman who might have transformed the world with her intelligence and a gift for international understanding. Grace, we will always miss you. Rachel Larty of Stanhope, New Jersey, died Wednesday, May 28, 2014, the victim of an alcohol-related motor vehicle accident. Rachel was 17 years old and a senior at Lenape Valley Regional High School at the time of her death. She lived to cherish her parents, Richard and Caroline Larte, her sister Isabella, her grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and the many caring friends. A funeral mass will be held Thursday, May 29th at the Trinity United Methodist Church in Hackettstown. Driver here. Yeah. You guys sit down. Sit down, okay? Just stay there. Okay. All right. Are you? Are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Just your nose. Can you hear me? Yeah. What's hurting? All right. Try not to move your head or anything. All right. Twenty told the county. Bob, what do you got? Confirm. I have one DOA that I don't see. I have one female. Can she feel her? Can she feel her legs or? No. All right. Sit tight, bud. Okay. That hurt you? Jay, what do you got? I got entrapment, uh, slightly responsive. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna hold her neck here. Stand up the quarters. We 
got one in track. Go for me, okay? Rescue rolled. We're going to need the numerous uh, rigs to respond. What happened? Get the bird in the no, air. Remember anything? We got one patient. No feeling from the waist down. We uh, also have one uh, DOA. How many other people were in the car? We see two cars, multiple injuries. You remember? One no feeling from the waist down. One DOA. Find the bird. Yeah, at yeah, least at three least, uh, uh, buses and, and medics. Okay. All right, bud, your head hurt at all or anything? No? Okay. Yeah. What's your name? I, I don't Stay right there, Justin. You guys were in this car? Is there anybody else? Okay. You stay right here, Bob. Just keep him in the car, okay? okay. All right. What's the worst thing here right now? What's going on? What's your name? Your head and your neck, okay? Keep TJ, easy. what's your name? All right, try not to move, okay? Stay right there. What hurts, TJ? Okay. Which car? Which car? Okay. All right. That was, all right. Sit tight. You're gonna be all right, buddy. Okay. And what about you? Okay, here comes the ambulance. Try not to move, okay? Try not to move. Okay. All right. Sit tight. We got help on the way. All right. We got entrapped in the front, unconscious but breathing. DOA on the hood. Female passenger seat of the other vehicle. No feeling from the waist down. Um, compound fracture, bone sticking out of her thigh. Um, driver has superficial injuries. These two have superficial injuries. Possibly going into shock over here. Okay. Yeah, we got the entrapment here. Slightly responsive at this point. Command, Ken. Onto this team. Okay. Good. Oh, okay. Back hurts. Okay. All right. That's coming, all right? school. Um, there's no easy way to tell you this, but your daughter did not 
that's a rather crash. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Too much detail, but it was a head-on collision. Um, she passed away at the scene. Alexa's going to the hospital. She was in the minivan. It looks like she's paralyzed. So they're bringing her down to Morristown right now. She's going to Morristown. Yeah. Okay. I got her. I got her info for you. I'll give it back to you at headquarters. Okay. Okay. It's a no fly. For the due to weather. The bird's not coming. Yeah. Right. One DOA. One DOA. One DOA. One crash team and medical. Medical examiner. Yes. Okay. Can you stand up? Yeah, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do a couple of tests, okay? To see if you're impaired or not. So, do you have any physical disabilities? Play sports? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so you'll be able to do these pretty easy. Okay, I just want you to stand right here. Face me, turn around. Okay, you can put that in your pocket. You're not moving for now. Just stand tight. Test, all right? What I want you to do right now is place your heels and toes together, arms at your side, just like this. Okay, I'm gonna check your eyes. You wear glasses or contacts? Glasses. glasses. Okay, did you have them with you tonight? Yeah. No, you weren't wearing them at all? Are you required to? Yeah. yeah, okay, all right. This is what I want you to do. You see the tip of my finger? I want you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Keep your head still, do you understand? Okay, see it? Keep your head still. There's a line in front of straight to this line. Straight line, okay? So what I want you to do right now is place your left foot on the line. Left foot on the line. Okay, place your right foot in front of your left foot. So your right heel is touching your left toe. On the sides. Okay? Stay in this position while I explain the test. And do not begin until I instruct you to do so. Do you understand? Okay. From this position, when I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel toe steps down the line. Turn. Take nine heel toe steps back. Just like this. One. Two. Three. When you turn, you're gonna leave your front foot down. The opposite foot, you're gonna take a series of small steps, turn, and take your return nine steps. You understand? Okay, throughout the test, while you're walking, you're gonna keep your arms at your sides. You're gonna look at your feet and count each step out loud. Do you understand? Okay, you can count your first step from that position as one. You can begin.
for a test. I want you to turn around, bud. Turn around, put your hands behind your back, palms together. Place under rest for trying to get intoxicated, you understand? That's what we'll find out in a little bit, okay? Do you have anything on you? Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand these rights? Yes, sir. Okay. So tell you one sec. salvage measure to help her heartbeat come back and I'm afraid there was nothing that we could do. I'm so so sorry to have to talk to you in this way. Step inside there, have a seat on the bench, okay? 
breath. The way I like to do this, Your Honor, Prosky and I have gone over, uh, and Your Honor has had the hearing, and Your Honor understands that uh, and has found that alcohol was involved here, and that um, he had a 0.17 uh, blood alcohol reading. So you do realize what that 0.17 reading tells me. That hearing, uh, Your Honor, I'm sure is satisfied that this recklessness uh, was due to his uh, alcohol uh, ingestion on this particular night. I would like uh, his mother to speak first, and his father wants to speak, and then he'll speak and then I'll speak. Oh, it just, I don't, I don't know. Oh, they, they can't do anything for them, because they're, they're, to kill, their children are like, gone. You identify yourself in the record, sir. I'm Scott Sessler. I'm Jackie Sessler. Thank you. Please proceed. We made a mistake. We took Allison away from us. And her brother, and her sister, and all her friends. We'll miss her every day. You have to live with that for the rest of your life. That punishment will be more than any judge can ever give you. My only hope is that people learn from your mistakes. That Allison's tragic death makes someone think before they make the choices you all made. That's all I have to say, Judge. Thank you, sir. Ma'am? Um. I just, knowing Joey's character, I would ask, he's a good boy. Um, I'm never going to bring back my daughter. <laughs> um, but knowing, knowing him, I know that he lives with that, and he will live with that for the rest of his life. I know that Laura was innocent in this. She wasn't in Joey's car. But... What else to say? <laughs> I'd just like to apologize again to all the families. Let them know that I didn't mean for any of this to happen. That nothing, even though nothing I say could ever bring their kids back, that I just didn't mean for any of it to happen. And what does your apology do to your family, your mother and father that just stood before the court pleading for leniency? The facts of this particular case. Everything I've heard on your behalf and by the victims and their families in this matter, or I should say by the victims' families in this matter, tell me that the only appropriate sentence for you is for me to run your jail, your imprisonment terms consecutively. What you've done here as a result of getting behind the wheel while intoxicated and taking the lives of innocent people. The sentence to be imposed by this court on the two second degree violations will be a five year term of state prison on each of those violations. Those terms shall run consecutively. As a result, you shall not be eligible for parole for the first time until you serve 8.5 years. It may seem like a long time, but you will be a young man, and a live young man, when you are released from state prison. Uh, anything further, counsel? Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Good luck to you, sir. Court is adjourned.